Dek Tabang This is my life on a Sunday <laughs> My hair is delightful I've been sick for the past week so me me. Oh, Lex was sick last Lay week me. and has decided that. Lay you know, you're are not you? sick. Oh, you're there. You're oh. fine. Oh, little one. I need so more ice cream. cream. Oh, the darkness is closing in. The wounds of the cold and breath of death upon my neck. Poor Roxy doesn't know what's going on. We need more ice cream. What are those? You need, you need more than that there ice cream with the, the biscuits in the ice cream biscuits. It's his ice cream, okay? Good. I'll, I'll go help the man. I seem to be on the mend, but I'm not going to the gym again today. One more day of rest. Hang on. Oh, I'm glad you're in the mend. Yeah. Hiya. Hi. Oh. <laughs> what are you so saying, man? So what are you saying, man? <laughs> What are you doing? Hiya. Oh, look. There's little people in there. See How'd you get the little people in there? Hiya. <laughs> so this has been my standard diet. Yeah, Coffee no. and Beecham's and an annoying yeah, no. husband. <laughs> yeah, no. Stop! <laughs> Where's your decency, dog? It's cosy. 100%. For the first time in about five days, I feel human again. As you can see, I've washed my hair, I've put on some makeup, I've put on human being clothes, not just slouching on the couch like a uh, vagabond. Since Monday, I've changed up my eating regime. As you know, for the past four years, I've been a flexible dieter, I've counted my macros. Now your macronutrients are your proteins, carbs, and fats. I have calculated my macronutrient breakdown to suit my body and my goals, and I have been tracking my macros every day for the past four years, bar a few days here and there. I decided to give my head and my brain a rest from tracking and calculating everything down to a T. So what I started doing Doing for the past week is intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is eating for your hunger and for your body rather than for your urges. It does entail some self-control. As I know roughly my intake for a day and what I should and shouldn't be eating, it's a lot easier for me because I know the content of food, I know what food is healthy and what food I can easily fit into my daily allowance. So it is a lot easier for someone like me who's kind of accustomed to tracking their food to become an intuitive eater because you are a lot more aware of the nutritional content of food. What it does do though is give me a little bit more flexibility because I am so stringent and controlling with my food. I think it relaxes my brain a little bit and it just means that if I go over or under my macros, I'm not worrying about getting them spot on because sometimes at the end of the night, I have fats and carbs left over but I'm not necessarily hungry and I'm just kind of like trying to figure out what I can eat to hit my macros. Whereas now, I just eat when I want and what I want. Obviously without indulging too much in those super fatty, sugary foods. I'm still being careful about what I eat, but I am just kind of being a little more loose and flexible with my intake. And to be honest, for the past week, my weight has actually dropped by a pound. Bar being sick, I am feeling a lot better. For it. So I'm going to continue it on for the next month or so. Anyone who is an intuitive eater and is watching this video, please comment below, give me tips, give me more guidance and if anyone has any more questions about flexible dieting or intuitive eating, just hit me up down below and I'll try and answer them as much as possible. It is Sunday and as you can see, me and Lex were having a lazy Sunday and I've just gone downstairs and he's obviously gone to the gym. So I'm just waiting for him to get back and then we're going to go and have some Sunday lunch in one of the local pubs. Master Folex. Oh, 
on our house situation. We have not yet found a new home. We went to see one on Wednesday. To be honest, I was feeling quite fluey and quite shitty. So it probably wasn't the ideal time to go and travel to see a house. We are looking in different areas. A lot of people have said, why don't you just buy a house? We aren't the prime candidates for getting a mortgage. It is on the cards. And to be honest, we haven't decided on an area where we want to buy because we aren't just buying as an investment buy. When we buy a home, we want it to be our kind of lifetime family home so we're not going to jump into it too impetuously just because we see somewhere we want to get um get to grips with an area see where we want to be you know a place with good schools all that kind of stuff at the moment buying a house is not an option for us but we are looking to lease another house in a different area right now we're up north we're in blackburn in the north of england and we're looking down more in the midlands of england that kind of direction because we have a lot of friends down there and it would be nice to have more people that we know around us we like the area as well and we just want to be more commutable to different areas like to London and just all around the country because when you're up north you're up north. So the search continues. Last year for Lex's birthday I brought him to New York and this year I have a new surprise trip planned for him for his birthday. I planned this before we knew we had to move house and today I let him know that we are going away on a surprise trip. I'm not going to tell you guys because I haven't told him where we are going yet but we will be going away for a week and then we have our belated honeymoon coming up in December to Sri Lanka so that's coming up as well and we have a lot of things coming up because we did not plan on moving house so as you can see it's kind of a lot of things going on all at once but we're gonna get through it this week obviously I was sick and I didn't train I'm gonna hit you up with a physique update after this as I said I have dropped a pound this week that may be due to not training or it may be due to my new intuitive eating regime I'm not sure but tomorrow's Monday it's a new week I'm feeling a lot better today I'm not still not feeling a hundred percent so I said I'd take another day off gym and cardio but tomorrow back to cardio back to the gym back to my normal regime so I'm feeling a lot healthier and a lot better today. As you can see, I've had a little bit more work done on my tattoos. It's just been bringing a little bit more color into the tattoos. I'm still not sure of what to get between the griffin and the flowers. So anyone who's artistic, who'd like to give me a rough idea of something to do, I want to just bring it into a half sleeve, but I'm very unsure of what I want right now. Any ideas, hit me up down below. Email me, send them on Instagram. Thanks. I've been working on some recipes. A carrot cake recipe I think has been perfected. So hopefully I'll get that up later on this week. I did try to make a gluten-free vegan scone and it went horribly wrong. So I will not be sharing that with you guys. I will have to go back to the drawing board on that one because not all of my recipes work out first time. What can I say? I'm sorry about the lack of content this week. I obviously have been sick and when you're sick, you do need to take a break. Being sick is your body's way of telling you to take a step back, relax, let your body heal. I obviously have been a bit stressed and run down from all the kind of move and all that kind of stuff. But tomorrow's a new day, it's a new week, it's a new month. So we'll set new goals and we'll get back to it. It's that simple. Yeah,